What is the meaning behind Justin Timberlake's supplies? Why are there people worshipping an Illuminati pyramid? Here's a look at the intense symbolism of the music video Supplies. Supplies features Justin Timberlake and his love interest, played by Mexican actress Isa Gonzalez Reyna, running around and causing heck in a dystopian society. While the setting is somewhat futuristic, the themes addressed are very 2017. Me Too movement, racism, immigration, feminism, Harvey Weinstein, and, of course, BLM. In the most striking scene of the video, a crowd of people worships a gigantic Illuminati pyramid that emits light. Then, Reyna, who plays the role of a rebellious leader, sets it on fire. Later, the world is apparently in ruins. What's going on? Is the video a call for an uprising? Is Justin Timberlake now a rogue, rebellious, troublemaker? Not really. The video is actually a call for doing nothing. It is simply part of the gigantic mass media wave that is defining what can and should be discussed and what can and should be celebrated. It is part of the communication technique called agenda setting. Agenda setting is the creation of public awareness and concern of salient issues by the news media. As well, agenda setting describes the way that media attempts to influence viewers and establish a hierarchy of news prevalence. Two basic assumptions underlie most researches on agenda setting. One, the press and the media do not reflect reality, they filter and shape it. Two, media concentration on a few issues and subjects leads the public to perceive those issues as more important than other issues. These core statements were established by measuring the changes in salience through the use of surveys with the presence of more frequent news coverage. There's a lot of agenda setting going on in supplies. Like so many other videos out at the moment, it helps define what the masses should care about or obsess over these days. However, in order to reach young people, the agenda setting is clothed as a revolt against an oppressive system. But there is no actual revolt going on, just an industry puppet doing what he is told for the cameras. Then, he cashes his check from RCA Records and goes back to his mansion. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Dustin Timberlake began his show business career at age 11 as a cast member of the Mickey Mouse Club, alongside several future industry stars, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera and Ryan Gosling. Timberlake then found superstardom as the leader of the boy band NSYNC. The album cover of No Strings Attached features the group, including Justin, as literal puppets. In 2002, Timberlake launched his solo career. Once again, album art was highly symbolic. Dressed in a clockwork orange-inspired outfit, Timberlake does the 6661i sign of the industry pawn. The cover of his 2013 album features a subtle yet still very present one-eye sign. One week before the release of Supplies, Timberlake released Filthy, a video that features him being replaced by a dancing robot. In Filthy, Timberlake stands backstage while a creepy robot replacement performs sexy dance moves on human dancers. He ultimately wins over the crowds as everybody cheers for the robot. The concept of the video is somewhat reminiscent of the movie Metropolis, where Maria, a leader of the people, is replaced by an android to do the elite's bidding. At the end of Filthy, Timberlake glitches out and disappears. Was he just a projection? Was he replaced by the android? Everything about Timberlake's career points towards him being at the service of the industry, and nothing has changed with his latest album. He is still signed with the Elite-owned RCA Records, and as such, anything he puts out is perfectly in accordance with the Elite's agenda. Contrary to Filthy, which is basically four minutes of watching a robot dance, there's a lot going on in supplies. Throughout this flurry of messages and symbolism, there's a core message being communicated. 
This is what you need to be angry about in order to be woke. Or precisely, it is about focusing on specific issues, framing them in a specific matter, and imposing a specific social-political solution to them. At the beginning of the video, Justin watches several screens at one, all of which display events of the past year. Trump, Harvey Weinstein, anti-racism demonstrations, gun control, the Vegas shooting, etc. The scene appears to be a reference to the 1976 sci-fi movie, The Man Who Fell to Earth, where an alien, played by David Bowie, watches 12 TVs at once, while becoming an alcoholic. After absorbing all of that mass media, Justin goes outside where some bizarre stuff is going down. Some very pale people, dressed in all white, harass Justin's girl, who is dressed in black. Are those white faces a reference to white people? Does this guy represent gun nuts who are against gun control? Justin watches this scene unfold from across the street. Do the floating white umbrellas represent white America being somehow protected from bad weather? Justin doesn't like what he's seeing. He punches the guy in white and leaves with the girl in black. In the following scene, Justin dances around as light effects depict people slipping under the wall and running away, in a rather clear reference to Trump's wall with Mexico. Here, Justin and his army gather at Los Angeles Public Library, as flags on the walls burn. Why are the flags burning? We don't see it in the video, but there's actually a pyramid topped by a torch of illumination right above them. This indicates who they're really fighting for. In the next scene, Justin and his girl find themselves in a creepy place of worship. People bow before an Illuminati pyramid. Isa, who is apparently a rebellious leader, sets the pyramid on fire with a Molotov cocktail. Did Isa set fire to the Illuminati? Not really. Notice that there's American money burning as it flies from the pyramid. In the previous scene, flags were burning. Now, money. Are these allusions to the destruction of national flags and national currencies, to be replaced by a one-world government and a one-world currency? The elite's ultimate objective. The same people who were worshipping the pyramid are now cheering for Isa. The masses are idiots prone to groupthink. How about thinking for yourself for a change? The new leader's disposition is reminiscent of an iconic picture of the past. This scene recreates the famous picture of Huey P. Newton, the leader of the Black Panther Party. There's a lot of racially charged stuff in the video. Here, people float in the air with illuminated rings around their eyes. When Justin and Isa remove the rings, people fall off. They are now woke. Throughout the video, various symbolic pictures quickly flash on screen. After all of this intense noise, the video ends in a cryptic matter. Dustin emerges from the ground as dirty children gather around him, in a post-apocalyptic world. Isa is looking fresh and clean. What happened there? A nuclear explosion. Why is everybody dirty except Isa? Did she know that the destruction was coming? The timing of this scene is rather odd as supplies was released only days after the Hawaii false nuke alert. On January 18, 2018, an alert was sent to all devices in Hawaii about an incoming ballistic missile. A few days later, the Japanese network NHK sent out a false alert saying, NHK News Alert. North Korea likely to have launched a missile. The government J alert. Evacuate inside the building or underground. The alert was then corrected. The hook of the song alludes to a post-apocalyptic setting, where Justin, maybe representing the elite, has all of the supplies necessary to survive. Cause I'll be the light when you can't see. I'll be the wood when you need heat. I'll be the generator, turn me on when you need electricity. Some shit's bout to go down, I'll be the one with a level head. The world could end now. Baby, we'll be living in the walking dead. The video ends with a little boy talking directly to the viewers and he's pretty angry. Just leave. Die already. You're still asleep. Wake up. Just leave. We good. Why is the music video telling viewers to die already? In the video, the singers are depicted as revolutionaries who are woke and who stand up against the powers that be. However, the revolution is actually 100% in line with the world elite's agenda. 
supplies as part of the new sanctimonious Hollywood trend, where constant virtue signaling somehow gives celebrities the right to define what should people think and believe in. Supplies is the elite communicating to the masses using extremely manipulative techniques and classic double speech. Through the use of virtue signaling, the video panders to the idealistic tendencies of young people. However, what are the actual values being promoted? Anger, hatred, and division between races, sexes, and political affiliations. The more the masses are divided, the more the elite can control each group efficiently. Divide and conquer is the oldest trick in the book. There's a great reversal going on here. The Illuminati, aka the world elite, is portraying the acceptance of its agenda as fighting the Illuminati. Mass media is in full force, using all of its resources to frame what's happening in a specific narrative. Why? Because we are in a pivotal place in history. We are living in chaotic confusing times, and people will actually bow down to the Illuminati pyramid. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.